G'day, fellas, and welcome to a custard game. Uh, hold on, no, a custard game. It's, it's sometimes difficult to tell the difference between the two, but this is a custard game. Uh, we've got Snooper Lover, who spawns in on the south... You know what, I'm just going to call it the west. The west side of the map, playing as the French, and his opponent spawning on the east side of the map, in the color red, playing as the English. It is Snooper Lover Lover. Yes, Snooper Lover Lover. So... For anybody unfamiliar with Snooper Lover, he is a lover of Snooper. Well, he might not be a lover of Snooper, but he loves Snooper. We can say that much for sure. And Snooper Lover Lover, well, it's it's kind of like a three-way relationship where not every person involved necessarily consents to the love they're receiving from the others. Uh, but essentially, what you need to know is Snooper is the guy that's... Uh, that is fighting for their love, or at least that uh, he, he's the one that wants to be loved. But anyway, we're going to talk a little bit more about this game, a little bit less about our players, uh, because as you know, Snooper, he is a guy that wants to be loved, and we have got plenty of love to give him. Now, we'll take a look over towards the south side, or towards the west side of the map, and you can see Snooper Lover yet to go for that gold mine. Going to be working his villager out towards there, going for the classic 8-1 build order. Uh, double scout opening for him. He's Mr. Sheep, Mr. Sheep, Snooper Lover, wake up, my friend. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. He finds it. He finds another one though. We've all done it. You know, I, I remember actually watching a game back of mine a little bit earlier today, and I'm like, I, I could, I didn't get any sheep, and I'm like, bro, what's up with my spawn? This map is terrible. And I go back and I watch the replay, and it's just literally me running past the sheep and not clicking on them, dude. I'm not even kidding you. Like my scout is here, and the sheep is right here. It's like it must be like a pixel out of like the radius of being captured. And it wasn't there, and I'm just like, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> like, not like this. It felt bad. It felt bad. But I don't think Snooper Lover's going to be feeling that way today. Uh, but over on the other side, Snooper Lover going to be... Sno sorry, Snooper Lover Lover uh, going to be going for that classic early English wheelbarrow. Now, this is something that we've seen out of a lot of players, the early English wheelbarrow. And I expect that we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of this as well. For anybody unfamiliar with the pup. Now, this game isn't on the pup. Uh, this is on the live build, uh, but we have seen more and more early wheelbarrows coming out because of the buffs that, that the English receive. So at the moment, the English currently sit at about 42% win rate uh, on the ladder in the highest bracket. In the lowest bracket, I think it's a little bit higher, uh, but in the highest bracket, it is currently at 42%, which is a pretty low win rate. That's the lowest of everybody by far. I think the next highest is like maybe the Chinese no, it's not even the Chinese. It's probably like the French or something like that. It's 49 or 47% or something like that. A couple more uh, sheep that are failing to get picked up. Every everybody missing sheep. But I guess it's easier to say when you're observing, isn't it? Like, oh, you miss sheep, you dickhead. But uh, not going to be the case today as that uh, that house does get picked up. Only the single scout opening. Perhaps Snooper Lover picks it up. But uh, we'll wait. We'll see how he does. But uh, he's going to be dropping down his school of cavalry in the front of his base. Now, this is a classic matchup. We often talk about this matchup as, a, as, as one of those matchups that's kind of like, uh, it, it could go either way. Uh, and I think that's definitely the case. A lot of people think that it's French favored. Um, and there is one condition to it being French favored. That is if the French player, geez, what is going on right here? This is a bit of a late council hall. Council hall coming down in the front. Bit of a bit of a walk there for all the way from the gold. That was quite the walk. Uh, so one of the th the uh, things to note is that one of the or the way that you make this favored for the French player is that if you actually make horsemen. So you want to be using your knights to raid. So ideally, you'd be hitting this wood line with a knight in the back, getting him out nice and safe. Hit the gold mine, get him out nice and safe, and then actually be fighting with horsemen because the horsemen are much more effective per cost or per yeah, I guess per cost per capita um, than the knights are they are half the cost whereas the damage that they do is very very similar uh, and they also have uh, a pretty decent health pool so we'll check in with snooper lover and see if that's what he looks to do here whether he goes for some sort of horseman play here which is sort of what you would expect in this situation or whether he doesn't play it like that so now that age ups come through a mill has been dropped down in the back of the base. Do we potentially see a, a wheelbarrow? Is it a 
professional scouts. It's going to be a professional scouts, so I'm suspecting that we'll see a knight into scout, scout, scout uh, from the uh, the school of cavalry. So just one knight to come in, do a little bit of pressure on that wood line, and you can see that landmark actually coming up pretty damn quickly with five villages on it. Snooper lover, lover, going to be pretty happy with that. But you can already see he's working on that gold or the uh, stone mine, and this is another theory, or well, not another theory, but another part of of the theory. Oh, got to be careful there. The villagers actually managed to get a nice little bit of a stuck. Very, very painful for Snooper Lover right there as he loses a scout and goes into professional scouts at the same time. So it means that he's going to have to invest in another scout. It's just, you know, an extra trip he's going to have to be doing back and forth. And now you can see the double scouts coming out from him. He's going to be kicking himself after that one and he's going to be vying for Snooper's love. Snooper is not going to be looking for it. That is for sure. Not after that. Snooper Lover Lover, however, going to be definitely going to be picking up affection. Now, part of the theory uh, for the English that has been developing is that you can actually do two town centers and very rarely be punished. And now we actually see very cute palings actually coming in from Snooper Lover Lover get stuck in the wall or get stuck in the in the wall in the in the, in the, in the paling rather. And now we see villagers going to be making their way back. First villager does go down. All the rest of the villagers just turning and firing upon the royal knight, saying, "Yeah, you might be royal, but where are your bows, mate? You don't have any bows. You need to get a, get yourself a headset." So one villager going down so far. So Snooper Lover from here looking to actually get a second town center. And I'm going to say, I like this. I think this is very smart. The, it's incredibly difficult to counter this. And this is something that uh, at the high level at N4C, so you guys know I recently got back from Berlin. I was casting N4C there. And one of the things I was talking about is, or, or talking about with, with the, the pro level players, is that we're starting to see a second TC again sort of come along in the meta because players worked out, you know, how to beat and how to defeat the second town center. And then the meta kept evolving, but now we're kind of seeing it move back towards the second town center. And Abbasid Dynasty has shifted this quite significantly, but people have also realized that with the English, you can do the same thing. And that's exactly what Snooper Lover Lover is doing. So dropping down that second town center on the berries at the back on the gold as well. Beautiful little spot. He's got the uh, he's got the palings out ready to go. I don't know how he does this, but he actually puts the palings down and then he can move away from them. Normally, whenever I put the palings down, I leave them and I come back and I move my longbows and it's like, okay, we're going to pick up our palings. We're going to jump off. Uh, but now you can see the uh, that Snooper Lover has done this and he's effectively put his enemy on a timer. He said, well, you, you have got to kill me or I'm going to boom. And now you can see that Snooper Lover is actually looking to get a second town center up himself. He's just gathered up all the stone for it now. He's probably going to be dropping down that second town center back towards this position. Somewhere around here, you can see the villagers just moving with intent. We'll see how he looks to play it, though. Now we can see on the other side, Snooper Lover Lover going to be scouting him out, seeing exactly what he's up to, because it's important to know what your enemy's up to. Might be going for a bit of a faraway town center here. Indeed, he is going to be looking to secure the gold mine. So a very, very distant town center. And now this could all also be punished by Snooper Lover Lover. If he spots this out, he could say, okay, well, I'm going to work on my timing here. I'm just going to put down a few farms and then I'm going to go for a push and I'm going to look to ram you and see if I can kill you. So let's see if he if he spots it out, whether he goes for that, whether he plays a bit more defensive. He's got a lot of options for himself, but now I'm going to be looking to mill it up throwing down a couple more farms the scout continuing to spot out and i gotta say i love the way that he's playing this makes a lot of sense he's going to be looking to come around the enemy's base probably look to spot out that stone there it is uh, so if he spots out that stone that's going to give him the indication that okay your enemy is now on that second town center that means that you uh you, you know you're aware of this so you can think about your playbook and I think there's a lot of different routes that you can go as the English. So one of the things that we've... Oh, look at that coming through from Snooper Lover. Lover. Uh, it goes for the full wall on this side and actually puts it down, uh, just dabbing it in one at a time. Uh, also going to have... That's just a house. I thought it was a blacksmith coming down. So just looking to play it very methodically and defensive at this point in time. Um, and I, I will note that Snooper Lover Lover a little bit higher ranked than Snooper Lover. Uh, so you can see that, uh, you know, it, it, he's probably doing a bit more homework trying to trying to you know determine what it is that snooper loves so much so that he can look to emulate that but now spots out the gold sees how much gold has been taken off that probably knows that a fast car or a castle age is going to be coming through soon doesn't actually look like a castle is going to be coming th through soon for snooper lover uh, so let's see if he manages to spot out that stone obviously going to be looking for it probably going to know that it's up obviously there's a lack of aggression uh towards him no battering ram come through just yet and now he sees the stone you can see it's under that 1200 threshold so he can only assume that there is a second town center somewhere because he's still yet to spot that spot. 
barracks coming down when you see this barracks coming down you can almost guarantee uh that he's thinking about castle because this this is indicating men at arms now by the same token he might actually um just know that the enemy scout is around this area and he's just showing him buildings this is something that does happen at the high level but keep in mind snooper level uh snooper level snooper level oh my god Oh my god, sorry guys, I apologize. That's the autism kicking through right there. Uh, that is uh, Snooper Lover. Uh, probably not at the level where he's probably showing or, or like making buildings when the scout goes past and then, you know, canceling them as the scout passes. But now you see that knight coming down there. He's definitely, uh, it definitely indicated that over to his enemy. And now we see the market getting thrown down as well. And uh, it's, uh, it seems like it's going to be men at arms up against the English. I feel like, this, I can't help but feel like this is a little bit of a mistake. It's just so easy uh, with the veteran longbows to just kite. So definitely, yeah, it, it can be one of those tough things. But we'll see how he plays it. We'll see how he plays it. I feel like up against the English, your best bet is going just for like Manganel, going for some sort of siege play. Uh, maybe playing it a bit more defensively, but we'll see how he does it. Now expanding out uh, to the mill. Going to be dropping down his guild hall as well. And nine villages on that. It'll take some time to get that bad boy up. We'll check over on the other side. And you can see Snooper Lover Lover still yet to go up, go up to the next stage. Now he's obviously got two options when he goes up. Number one is the King's Palace. And look to try and scale with the enemy French player. Because remember, the French has got a number of bonuses that help him out with his economy. One of the big bonuses is that the French villagers train much, much faster. And if you have a look right now, you can see that our English player is on 46 villagers, whereas our French player is on 51. Despite it, despite him taking longer to get that second town center up, he's still got a villager lead. So what can he do? He can look to get a King's Palace up. That'll help him even out that village account. Uh, that's always one option. Option number two is actually look to go for a white palace or a white tower. Um, now, there's different ways that you can play it whether you don't want to go for defensive personally i would even i would go for aggressive i would just go for like an early aggressive white tower because it's a keep that's that's realistically what you're playing with you've got a keep and just go for like a trebuchet go for a manganel go for a springwood if you need it you know because that's it, it functions as a siege workshop it functions as this all-in-one building uh, so it makes a lot of sense but honestly i'd probably just be going for the king's palace i feel like if you're going to drop it down drop it down somewhere nice like this it's going to be absolutely perfect. And now a very well defensively, uh, well placed uh, wolf comes out and looks to defend this position. You see the villagers under attack here over on the west side. But uh, it is going to get taken out. Oh, he might actually pick up a villager here if he's not careful. Down to seven or eight health now. Uh, so manages to keep it alive. We see veteran uh, also coming through. Veteran knights or veteran royal knights coming through. And uh, if he's not careful, might get cleaned up. So Snooper Lover could look to make a bit of a clean up here. We'll check and see exactly what his uh, military count is actually villagers getting taken out there he's got to be careful he was down on seven villagers okay doesn't look like he loses any more full wall in now coming through for snooper lover lover he's going to be really happy with this and the english player typically doesn't have to leave his base he's going to be uh a-okay -okay in here um he's just got to be careful because he's aging up to the next stage his enemy's already gone up and unless you're looking to commit into age two to me it doesn't really make a lot of sense to be playing around with fire because you know that your enemy has gone up to the next stage you know that they've got veterancy you know, there could potentially be, you know, six or seven knights, and that's more than enough to clean this mess up. Uh, at the same time, men at arms, not really much of a threat, uh, but uh, always something to be cognizant of. So Super Snooper Lover going to be falling back, knows that it's only a matter of time until that damage really starts to come out and doing the right thing, falling back towards that gate. Still yet to see that final wolf come up now, but there is a bit of a raid up towards that northern position. So got to be careful, outpost getting positioned right above this wood line pretty decent spot here as well just going to provide him a lot of line of sight now you see professional scouts bringing back this safe food source still got access to a couple of hunts he's managed to take out four of those so far uh still a full seven left on that one and now we see those royal knights moving towards the northern position a little bit of a hole in the wall right now snooper lover going to be able to pick this one up you can see that shots were fired in the middle of the map but at the same time he's going to be able to get through villager does go down able to make his way through the wall and Snooper Lover Lover probably hands on his head right now, just thinking, how the hell did I let that one get through? Landmark comes down. It's the King's Palace, as you would expect on that wood line. Going to be looking extra good. Villagers entering into the town center. You can see all the firing, all the arrows firing off at those units. Villagers going to get chased around the town center. A little bit of loop-to-loop -loop there. Managing to make their way back towards the capital. But at the same time, they've got their hay. They're running. They're making it. Uh, do have the wheelbarrow. So they're going to have that extra speed. But now a little bit of a push on the front as well. I'm expecting that we'll have veteran longbows coming through any second. But now those knights pinned up towards the backside. We'll see how they do. You hear those bells being ticked off once again. Still just firing out a few arrows 
at them as they come through. And now under massive pressure at the front, Snooper Lover Lover going to be potentially going down to Snooper Lover if he's not careful. At the same time, a bit of a raid up towards this position. You can see the double barracks coming out. Do we have Chad armor coming through? Not quite yet, uh, but we do have veteran spears coming through. And now those men at arms are looking to try and make ends meet over towards the base of his opponent. You can see just how strong those longbows are. Nine damage on those bad boys. So still doing four a pop. And now you can see them focusing down these men at arms, just having no trouble at all. Two-shotting these with just a handful of, uh, of long... I say just a handful. I don't know how many fingers you got on your hand, but if you got 20 fingers on your hand, then it's just a handful of veteran longbows, boys. But uh, now the... Uh, the veteran knight's going to be looking to try and clean up some of these villagers. Still microing away the the long with the longbows. The villagers going down here. He's on the 55 villagers for Snooper Lover Lover. At the same time, 82 villagers for Snooper Lover. That is a big disparity between these two, considering one's got three TCs, the other's only got two. And now we see a four stable switch coming in at the back. I don't know if this was spotted out by Snooper Lover, but it's imperative uh, that he knows what his enemy is up to. So we'll see if he runs a scout around the outside. Obviously, he's got plenty of scouts out on the map uh where are they where are they there they are so probably going to be heading up towards this position they might actually spot this out so we'll see how he plays it transitioning villages over to farms as well so the right choice still got these veteran royal knights in the back of the base he's managed to seal up the majority of his base still yet to get that front wall sealed up a little bit of a, a wolf attack over on that western flank as well now coming through but we'll watch as these scouts come through and you're going to hear that outpost Tapping away at its bells. Let's see if there's any response that comes in here. We'll check from Snooper Lover and see if he, he spots out the uh, stables from his enemy. You can obviously see that the road has gone through up there. He's going to know that there's buildings, but I don't think he knows that the stables are there. So we'll see what the transition looks like for him and whether he looks to go into full knights himself. But now over chopping a little bit on this front. Got to be careful. I think he might have chopped all the way through. And now the knight's going to be coming through a little bit of a pull. Indeed, they have chopped through and now making their way through. They, they uh, very carefully dodge out because of that uh, King's Palace. And now heading back with the food that they've stolen. He's going to need to re-wall that one if he wants to keep safe. Might even need to wall those berries in. But you know what? Walling in berries doesn't really make sense as the English. English typically not going to be needing berries. You can see you can see right now what is going on in the base of Snooper Lover. You know what? I'm kind of waiting for the fast Imperial meta to happen for the English. It really hasn't happened yet. And like, we're sitting at 17 minutes. You're you're fully walled up. You've d managed to hold on to this point. Like, you've got all the resources that you need in the, in your base, right? So why don't you just go fast imp? I don't know. To me, it just makes sense. Like, go fast imp. Put down your um your uh, your H4 landmark, like, right here. It, it defends the wood line, defends the gold mine, defends your entire base. Like, sure, your enemy can hit you, like, over here. I guess maybe you could put it, like, here then, I guess. But like 20 vils on that bad boy, it is coming up extra fast. Spears doing a great job picking up those knights in the stealth forest. So very nice job. And now look at the walls coming out from Snooper Lover Lover. Is he is he cosplaying or role playing here as uh, as Snooper Lover Lover when it's actually who is underneath that? We're gonna need to unmask this individual. Is that potentially Salami that's playing as Snooper Lover Lover? Could it be? There's there's so many walls coming up from from him. It, I feel like it has to be Salami, but no. It's not. It's actually... Who could it be? It's Hut. It is Hut. I've received confirmation that indeed it is Hut here as the mangonels fall down. Snooper Lover on the other side. It's Dinky. So another Australian sensation it is going to be the Thunder from Down Under. It is Dinky. Uh, for anybody unfamiliar with Dinky, an incredibly talented Australian player. Uh, a little bit special, but, uh, you know, we like him. We like him special. Double Monastery. Interesting build order coming out here from Snooper Lover. Uh, going for the double monastery build. You know, j just when you figured the monasteries were... How much are they? 200 wood? 400? Why not? Let's throw it away. And remember what I was talking about, like, with the fast imp? Imagine if he's Imperial right now with his landmark right there. The uh, What's that H4 landmark that they've got? Uh, not the Wingard Palace, the Berkshire. The Berkshire Palace. Imagine if there's a Berkshire Palace right here. It just completely destroys this. I mean, maybe he just goes down to this position, but then the Berkshire Palace also acts as a siege workshop, so you just make Springles out of it and then use the Springles to come under the Barkshire Palace, and then he can't push under. I, I, I genuinely think it could totally work. It could totally work. Mangonels now looking pretty decent here. He's got to be careful. Snooper Lover Lover does push in. He spots out those enemy Mangonels. They're going to be unfolding. They're not really looking to get into position. Got to be careful here. He moves them a little bit forward, getting their shots off. He actually takes out one or two, three, it looks like, of those longbows. 
And now it looks like one of the Mangonels has gone down. Second Mangonel almost going down. Big shots coming in on the back line. Village is going to be going down, unfortunately. Probably no, uh, yeah, no textiles coming through, but only a single Mangonel remains. All of those armies, all of those militaries get cleaned up. And now going to get focused down by the Longbows. Another shot comes off, focusing the villagers. The villagers managing to survive just with a little bit of health on them. And now the Knights running into the wood line. Going to be going past, heading down towards the town center. But you can see that the Longbows, the English Longbows are holding on right now for dear life. Needs to evacuate these dance floors because... Now we're in a bit of trouble. Snooper lover lover. He's, uh, he's left a hole open for his enemy. And now going for a bit of a quick wall here. Says, you know what? You can you can, you can can come in, but once you're in, that is it. There is, there is no refunds on this ride, my friend. You are in, and you are in for the long haul. Manages to take out the first one. Two more to go. He's going to spot the four stables up towards the north. We'll see how Snoop and Lava Lava looks to play it. I would really love to see an Imperial coming out. I don't know if an Imp is viable, though. That's the thing. I feel like you kind of leave yourself a bit open. Obviously, you don't have the reduced Imperial cost that civs like the Holy Roman Empire get. So maybe it's just not viable. But now we see villagers managing to get inside. Double outpost going to be coming up on the gold mine down to this position. Obviously, has the gold in the base still available for him as well. Um, but these, this gold mine has been completely mined out, uh, as you would expect it to be at, uh, at 20 minutes into the game. But uh, managing to take out... Look, look at the damage that comes through. Six damage from these. Ten. Uh, so four damage a pop. That's pretty damn decent going up against a fully kitted out veteran royal knight there. But we'll check in on Snooper Lover. I want to see exactly what he's up to. Now beginning to wall up his side of the map. So looking to try and gather a little bit more of map security. More mangonels coming out. More men at arms. More knights coming out. Really sticking it out with this aggressive composition. But at the same time, interestingly sort of a mass infantry composition that comes out from Snooper Lover Lover, and he still manages to do it quite well in this position. So, very well played by Snooper Lover Lover. Uh, typically at this point in time, like, this composition is incredibly difficult to deal with. Like, the, the only thing that really counters this is crossbows, and the problem is that the crossbows get defeated by the Magadels. So that's really where you're at with this kind of thing. So now we see village oh, villagers. Oh, poor villagers. Don't actually go down. He's trying to put a gate up here. Uh, looking to probably hold on to his this position a bit longer by putting up the gate, I guess. Or maybe it was just like... Yeah, it, it, I don't know exactly what was going on there. Still no repairs coming up by the, the walls behind. Mangonel is going to be looking to try and take out villagers if they're not careful. Got to be careful, those villagers. A little bit of an attack up towards the north. It looks like we've got knights coming out. These guys got their network of castle bonuses being provided. So a little bit of extra attack speed now. And those Mangonels continuing to push forward with the men at arms, sieging down the, the outpost. Springled also going to be looking to do some damage. I suspect we've got Springled in placements. Indeed we do. Snooper Lover Lover looking to try and hold on now. Really looking to push it to the limit. And I tell you what, Springled in placements, I can't believe I would ever say it, but I think he might be able to do it. I think he might be able to do it. The Springled in placements are going to be able to focus down the Mangonels on the back line. They still do so much damage uh, to those Mangonels. So we'll see how he looks to play it. And now capturing up those sacred sites. Already a lot of relics going over towards him. We'll switch it over to income per minute. I know you guys love to see that income per minute. Knights trying to hold on in the back, uh, the back line. You can see the knights actually doing a pretty decent job of just drawing attention away. And Mangonel's actually firing off. Look at those long range Mangonel shots. At the same time, more knights on the front. Gotta be careful. Those, oh my lord, those longbows need to get their setup camps going. Uh, I don't think they are actually affected by the camp if they're in combat. So you can see right there. Is it working? Yes, it's working. Uh, so maybe one of those newly made ones. But now the Springled Emplacements on the outpost trying their best to hold on. A lot of veteran Royal Knights in here right now. Snoop and Lover Lover really trying to hold on in this position. He is just constantly under threat, always really trying to keep his head above water. Sitting on 74 villagers at the moment compared to his enemy. He's on 133. Snoop and Lover just miles ahead of Snoop and Lover Lover. Really vying for, for Snoop's love, his affection at this point in time. And just having so much more to say than his opponent does. So very well played to Snoop and Lover up until this point. He's sitting on 176 pop as well. Oof, that is quite a lot. I'm going to take a quick swig of my multi-V. Don't mind me, guys. Just give me a gentle second here. Mmm, that is some good multi-V. For anybody unfamiliar with multi-V, you know what? You guys have probably got multi-V in every part of the world. Oh no, it's happening. At least he's got his textiles. Multi-V is like this. It's like orange juice, but every single juice, every single fruit thrown into a juicer. So it's got like passion fruit, mango, probably some banana in there. But this Multi-V, it's a bit weird. It's also got carrots. 
What the fuck is wrong with people? Who the fuck puts carrot in a juice, dude? It, but it, you know the crazy part? It still actually tastes pretty good. It actually tastes pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a healthy guy. I mean, if you guys have seen me at M4C, you'll know healthy is probably not my middle name. Uh, but now I'm, I'm, a, I'm onto the multi-V, so <laughs> who knows? Maybe next time you see me, I'll be looking beautiful and glowy and, you know, probably half the weight that I was at N4C. So we'll see. We'll keep drinking the multi-V. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? But uh, speaking of work, and it looks like Snoop Lover probably going to have a bit more to worry about than the work that he's got cut out from at the moment because you can really see that the Knights Bass is beginning to build and uh, and down towards the south, more attacks coming in, but obviously a lot of uh, a lot of uh, success with these walls. Keep in mind, every single uh, enemy attack that comes through on these walls is an, an attack that could have been on a villager. So he's doing a great job in delaying, and now we hear that age four coming through. Is it going to be the Red Palace? Oh, it's going to be the Red Palace. Do not worry, my friends. Uh, but, I mean, in putting the Red Palace in this position, I mean, it's two trebuchets away from death. That's the thing. So even if, if Snooper Lover looks to... to go up to the fourth age. He's going to be in a bit of a difficult spot if those trebs do come out. But Snooper Lover Lover now looking to try and take down some of these veteran royal knights, focusing them down, using the knights to screen, prevent any potential attacks from coming through. Does spot that red palace coming out. Sees the mangonels underneath it. This is probably going to spoil the end of the game as well. Snooper Lover Lover, his last source of wood is, is down here. Obviously, he's got a bit of a wood line up towards the north. He's got a wood line up over here. But this is his primary wood source and what was considered his safest. Now that red palace is going to come up, they're really going to ruin things for him. Uh, going to make it a lot harder for him to gather wood, especially if his enemy looks to sort of isolate that northern wood line. So we'll see how he plays it. But now it looks like he might have spotted a bit of a, a gap in the wall. Unfortunate overchop. You can see it right there. 141 wood on it. It only just got chopped up. And now we see his veteran spear is going to be coming out. A little bit of a harassment down to Towards the south, Snooper Lover going to be losing one of those sacred sites. He's already captured two out of three. Losing one of them, though, and that red palace is going to go up. No line of sight behind this outpost, though, or behind this uh, wood line. He's going to prevent any at potential attacks from coming through. And now heading towards the gates, he's going to be looking to siege it down. And uh, a new age has begun. So entering the fourth age, we'll take a look at what upgrades we've got. We've got adjustable crossbars. We've got elite royal knights. So he is looking to go a full mangonel knight composition in the late game. Very effective against the English. Now the Snooper Lover Lover going to be looking to hold on as the spears begin coming in, trying to round up. Obviously a fight you don't want to really take at this point in time. You don't yet have those elite upgrades. And now the Springled emplacements just continuing to fire across on those units and actually aggroing them look at this it's so obnoxious i hate this i actually got done by this earlier tonight and so right now he doesn't even have the attack warning off on him it, because of the way that it gets timed so the springled outpost it's going to lock onto these units even if they go outside the range will draw them back in uh from the aggro villagers 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 all go down all go down it's absolutely terrible Absolutely terrible stuff right there. Snooper Lover not looking... or so, Sorry, Snooper Lover Lover not looking the strongest right now. He's sitting on 150 population, 55 of which are military, compared to his opponent, who's sitting on 146 economic and only 45 military population. So still pretty close at this point. Elite Knights has come through. A little bit of a fight going to be happening on the front lines. Spears moving forward towards those mangonels, but at the same time, that Red Palace always just going to prevent any kind of push as long as it is up it is almost impossible to push into this thing unless you've got a thousand units so uh yeah unless you've got a thousand units don't don't push into the red palace it will destroy you completely mangonel's continuing firing off on the infantry we see the trebuchet going to be unpacking firing off its rock towards I think, it, I think he fired it towards the Mangonel. We don't see any damage coming out on the Red Palace. And now Springled's going to be moving forward. You see the Springled uh, Outpost or Springled Emplacements. Mangonel actually getting fired down upon. Going to be going down. And now a little bit of a throw coming in right now from Snooper Lover. Is uh, Snooper Lover Lover going to be able to clean up these free Springleds? A little bit of a misplay. He's got plenty of units in the, the, uh, the Red Palace. But definitely Snooper Lover Lover going to be needing a second trebuchet. Maybe even a third one. We do see a second trebuchet coming out. Have we got more spearmen? Let's have a look at the production. What have we got coming in right now for him? Needs to rewall this right now. Obviously, in a bit of a difficult spot. More elite knights making their way through. He's got plenty of stone in the bank as well. At this point in time, looking pretty decent. Uh, but at the same time, like, let's... Do we dare check the score? Ooh, Snooper Lover miles ahead of Snooper Lover Lover. Not something that you would expect at this point, considering the ranks disparity between these two guys. A lot of people... People would be looking at Hut and say, wow, Hut, you are a really good player. But um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that that uh, that today. But, uh, I mean, it just goes to show the strength of the French at the moment. Even though I felt like Snooper Lover Lover really played it immaculately, had the tempo lead against his opponent, just sort of lost out when it came to the long run. 
Trebuchet is continuing uh, to fire down on that Red Palace. I think they might have missed there. I don't see any damage coming through on that. Now more Veteran Spears beginning to move forward. Snooper Lover Lover trying his best to hold on, but at the same time, I feel like Snooper Lover just putting a little bit, just putting a little bit of infrastructure down next to his Red Palace. A little bit. A little bit. Bombard's going to, Cannon's going to be coming out here as well. Uh, so going to be mixing it in. Look at the resources coming through for him now. 159 villagers for Snooper Lover. Just when you thought that 130 was enough, he's like, uh, I'm more of a 159 kind of guy. Impressive, Snooper Lover. Impressive. Those are some big cojones you got. Uh, <laughs> uh, elite Men at Arms also coming through now. Seven armor on those bad boys. El seven armor for the Elite Royal Knights as well. And uh, Snooper Lover looking incredibly strong. Another Bombard shot or another uh, Trebuchet uh, Trebucket shot coming down. Where's that raid over towards the south side over here? Still plenty of villagers down on this gold mine. A lot to be had. Now men at arms beginning to move in. So many trebuchets here. The consequence of making trebuchets or making so many trebuchets is that you're spending resources on trebuchets and not on other things that are actually good against units. And now you see the cannons beginning to focus down the trebuchets as well. Going to be having an absolute cleanup today. A bit of a rewall comes through at this point in time. But at the same time, you just really got to wonder if there's anything at this point in time that Snooper Lover Lover is going to be able to do. He's going to try his best to hold on in this position. But you really just got to think he might be down and out. I mean, he's managed to clean this up, but at the same time down towards the south. I mean, he's, he's holding on for dear life, but I can't help but feel he's just a little bit behind. I say a little bit, like 141 villages, and it looks like a tap out's come through. Snooper Lover is victorious. Snooper Lover Lover goes down and out. A bit of a confusing game, but the French player coming out on top. Fellas, I hope you enjoyed this Casted game, and uh, I'm looking forward to some more Casted in the next one. I'll catch you guys then.